A local grandmother accused of shooting and killing her son-in-law after making a comment about her clothing admits she did it and says she would do it again. The news reporter Allison Ash is joining us live and, and Allison Cynthia Cedabaca says she didn't stop shooting until her gun was empty. And she reloaded it two more times and emptied it two more times, according to testimony here today. But I want to tell you that just within the last 30 minutes, the judge did rule that there is now enough evidence for Cynthia Cedabaca to stand trial for murder. Thanks. You're good looking. <laughs> <laughs> this is video of Cynthia Cedabaca joking and smiling at her mental competency hearing last month. The judge today would not allow any television cameras to record the preliminary evidence against her. Cedabaca is accused of shooting her son in law, Gerard Estacchio, 15 times inside their Fallbrook home after he criticized her clothing. Then, as he lay dying, going out for breakfast, some gambling, and a stop at her favorite coffee shop where she was arrested. The prosecution played an interview with detectives where she called her son-in-law evil. Somebody had to stop him, said a detective. I did, I did, replied Cedabaca. Is he dead, the detective asks. He's got to be dead. Is he dead, the detective asks a second time. Cedabaca's answer, I hope so. Later, this chilling exchange. A detective referring to the murder weapon says, you shot it until it was empty? Yep, she answered. Did he say anything to you? And in a mocking tone of voice, Sita Baca says, Grandma, I love you. The detective asks, did you check to see if he was dead? Sita Baca, I didn't care. There was also testimony from neighbors who said they heard the shots fired and heard a voice calling out, help me. By the time deputies got there, Sita Baca had already left the house to celebrate her 63rd birthday. And Sita Baca occasionally turned to look apologetically at her daughters who were sitting in the front row. Uh, at one point, she did speak out, actually trying to silence a witness who was dragging out some of the family's dirty laundry. Now she's set to stand trial right here beginning on November 4th. We're live in Vista, Allison Ash, 10 News.